Hi everyone. I know a lot of you guys were waiting for No 20 series, but after watching the event last night, I am quite disappointed. No 20 with that plastic back, no expendable storage, 1080p display, just 60 hertz refresh rate in thousand dollars. I mean, why not try to look for existing phone? I mean, they are a better deal right now. It's been almost five months I've been using this Galaxy S20 and uh, before that I was using this Galaxy S10. So I've used this for one year and I did a speed test comparison between both of them. I was really disappointed with S20. I mean, S10 performed better in both speed and RAM management, but we have got a lot of software updates after that. I also did a camera comparison between both of them after the software update, so you go check that out. I won't be doing that again. But uh, I thought why not repeat the speed test again, so I'll show you everything. Let's start with the boot test first. S20 wins. But the difference is quite small. Let me turn on, keep the brightness a little low and uh, let's connect to the fastest internet, both of them. So they are connected to the same internet now. I have some set of apps here. Before that, let me just clean all everything. Now we have nothing in the background. Let's start with Geekbench 5 first. S20 is about to finish. S10 is quite behind right now. Let's wait for S10 to finish. It took some time on S10. There's a huge difference right now. Let's go to home screen and I'll give it some time to cool off so that we can start the speed test. Now, let's see, I have just only one application in the background and let's keep it there. Uh, now I'll start with the basic applications first. The phone dialer, almost same. The calculator, same. Calendar, a little bit faster on S20 camera faster on S10 Chrome faster on S20 clock faster on S10 Amazon a little bit faster on S20 Gmail a little bit faster on S20 Google, almost same. Instagram, refresh fast here. Maps, almost same. Netflix, faster on S20. Just open my account. Okay, keep this in background. ATM. Yeah, almost same Play Store almost same let's open this in the background Prime Video just a little bit faster on S20 Twitter faster on S20 Uber kind of same Just a little bit faster on S20. A little bit faster on S20. Faster on S10. And uh, the Geekbench, it's still in memory. Let's start again. Let's start with uh, Amazon first. Uh, not reloaded basically calculator calendar camera faster on s10 it's refreshed chrome on in ram clock gmail 
I like how the RAM management is working on S20 now. Usually, in the f- when I started comparing first, uh, it, the RAM management was really bad on S20. It's working really well. Google Maps, everything is in background other than the camera. Netflix, Paytm, Play Store, Prime Video, Twitter, Uber, YouTube, Swiggy, Somato, and this. Everything is in RAM. So I'm running it on 120Hz refresh and both are in just normal mode. Uh, so I haven't done anything this time. So let me just retest it again so that we can see like how it performs after performing the speed test. S10 is running ahead this time. Let's see which one will finish first. S10 is still in lead. So the first time S20 was in lead, uh, but after doing the speed test, S10 is in lead right now. We'll see which one finishes first, but as of now, S10 is ahead. S20 is quite close now. S20 just crossed S10. They're quite neck to neck. So as you can see, the score dropped for Sinker Coal quite drastically. Let's see how S10 is going to perform. So this time S10 performs better even after the speed test. So yeah, the device is throttling a bit, but uh, it's not bad as last time. Now let's talk about the price. So the price difference between S10 and S20 is huge now. Uh, so in India, you can get this phone for approximately 43,500 for S10 and uh, 64,000 after all the discount for uh, S20. So the price difference is approximately 20,000 rupees or you can say 300 US dollars. Uh, so in my opinion, I think S10 is a better choice here and let me explain why. So the only difference between S10 and S20 for me was the 120Hz refresh rate panel. But the problem was it was just limited to Full HD. And if you haven't used a high refresh rate panel, you might not going to see the difference. But other than the refresh rate, both are quite amazing display. They both support HDR10 plus and they both have Quad HD panel. So you're not going to be disappointed with any of the display. They, they are quite bright in the sunlight as well. For the camera difference, I already made two camera comparisons, so you can go check that out. And in my opinion, the camera difference was not huge as well. Uh, so in video, S20 was a little better in stabilization, but in photos, no one is going to disappoint you. And I don't think that it was a huge upgrade this year. I know they upgraded the camera sensor, but I think in my opinion, it's not a worth upgrade just for camera. So the battery life difference between S10 and S20 is not different because on S10 with 60Hz and on S20 with 120Hz it's almost identical and that's the difference between the battery size uh, as well. So uh, S20 has 600mAh extra battery uh, but if you use your phone on 60Hz you might get half an hour extra time on S20 but I don't think the difference is worth that money. S20 also support 25 watt fast charging but the charging time on both of the phone is almost identical uh, so because the battery is smaller on S10. Both have IP68 water resistant uh, fast wireless charging, reverse charging but in S10 you get that 3.5mm jack. Design is subjective in my opinion but I think a lot of people don't like the way the punch hole is on right side on S10. So for those people you can go for S20 but for me it was not a huge difference. I also like the camera housing uh, on the S10 more than the S20. In the gaming and performance I don't see the huge difference. It works same for me. They both are not really great for uh, high refresh rate gaming. So it's very hard to get that 60 frames per second. Yes, I know a lot of people will say a ton of the game optimization, uh, download the package disabler pro and everything, but I am tired of doing all of that. So for in my opinion, the performance is almost identical in both of them. Please let me know about the difference between S20 and S10. What do you guys think? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to save some money, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Rohit. I'll see you in the next one. Till then.